In this video, I'm going to show you how you can move text in iMovie in just a couple of steps. Let's get started. So if you've been using iMovie for a little bit now, you've most likely realized that you actually cannot move text directly in the software. So I'm not sure why this is, but for whatever the reason, whenever you use any of the titles in iMovie, you actually don't have any ability to move the text around whatsoever. Um, I've researched quite a lot about this and from what I've found, there's no way to actually simply move the text around in iMovie. Um, so this is just simply really annoying, um, but fortunately there are a few workarounds um, that you can do um, to make the text um, move to a particular location in a video and also for it to move in a particular direction as well. And just before I show you guys this, um, if I go and highlight this text, as you can see guys, there's no way to kind of drag this around. There's no cropping points or anything like that. So what we have to do is actually use some really um, great online tools. So for myself personally, um, I use a tool called Canva. Um, it's a really awesome um, kind of custom design tool online. It's kind of like Photoshop, but a really, really simple version. There's many templates that you can use and all of that kind of stuff. So I've just opened up um, this sample template and I've just got some example text here that I want to use for my YouTube video. So once you have your text organized, then all you have to do is go and download it. Now before we download it um, in Canva, there is a few extra settings that you can adjust. So I am using the pro version and this does allow you to download files um, directly that are transparent. And we do want the text to be transparent as this will kind of remove this white box um, on the video and it will just allow it to look really nice and minimal. So if you are using the pro version, um, you can go download and then you can go make the background transparent. Um, however, if you don't, I'll also show you another method on how you can do that as well. So I can just go and download the file and you want to ensure that the uh, format is in PNG and I'll explain that to you in just a bit. So I'll go select PNG and then download. And if you do want to check out Canva Pro, um, I'll leave a link down below in the video description as well. Um, I've been using it for a couple of months now and I've been really, really impressed um, with what it's allowed me to do. So now that's downloaded, we then have to go over to Google and what we want to type for is make PNG transparent. Now, if you search for this particular um, kind of keyword, there'll be many free websites, um, kind of free online tools that will allow you to make the background of an image transparent. Um, so I can just go and click on the top one and this will take me to the website. Now, once we're here, we can simply drag in the file that we just made on Canva. So I'll go click into this one and then I'll go and select the file and that will upload it. And by default, it automatically detects the kind of most um, available color, which is white, and it automatically removes that and makes it transparent. However, if it has a little bit of trouble finding that color, because um, sometimes it might be a different color you're trying to make transparent, then you can also go to the color palette and select the color that you would like to remove um, from the image. So once that's done, we can then go click Save As and then go download. And it really is that simple, guys, to make um, text transparent for iMovie. So once we have that file available, we can then go back and open up iMovie. And now I'll go and open up the downloads folder. And now I'll take um, the file that we just downloaded. So this is a little bit of an, an annoying process, um, but it definitely does pay off um, by the end if you are really looking to add text in a particular location on a video. So right here we have the file that we just downloaded. Now I can drag this directly into iMovie. And if I bring this out, that will kind of um, change the length of the text. Now if I highlight the text, as you can see guys, it's kind of um, going from left to right. Um, and this is the default kind of settings whenever you add an image into iMovie, as this is technically seen as an image. Um, but if I go and double click on this, I can then go and adjust a few settings. So the first one I want to do is picture in picture. And this will allow me to drag this around. And then I can go and click on the crop. Now what I want to do here is actually go fit. And this will actually bring up the entire text. 
and now I can go back to this button and then confirm those changes. And now we have the actual text in there. I can double click on this one and now I can adjust the size, bring it around wherever I want. So say for example I want to do this in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, top right hand corner or wherever you might you, wherever you might want it. You really have a lot of control on where you want to move this around. And this really isn't the most um, the best text for this video but this is just an example to show you what you can do. Now I can go and play this one and as you can see guys that text goes in there and then I can also go and play around with the transitions of the text. So by default whenever you add an image into iMovie um, it has a really small transition um, but I can actually click on this really small dot on the image and actually bring this out and that will do the uh, fade in and the fade out for the image. So if I go and play it from the beginning, as you can see guys, the text kind of fades in really nice and slowly. And then you can also do that on the opposite end as well. So another really um, awesome tip that you can use to kind of move the text from one direction to another, um, pretty much anywhere on the screen, is to use the Ken Burns effect. So to do this, all you have to do is double click on the text. And this will bring us to the same settings that we adjusted um, just earlier on. So once we're here, we, we, when, <laughs> we then want to go and click on the cropping tool. And right here we have crop to fill and then the Ken Burns effect. So right here we have two boxes and this is the start and the end. Um, so what we can do now is actually crop this um, to where we want it to go. So I can actually play around with this and I can adjust that one. And typically you do want the text to fit into the frame and then once that's and then once I'm happy with that I can then click on the end box and this will do the transition from the start to the finish. So I can then click on the end and then I can do the same with this one, drag it around anywhere I want in the screen. And I can also make it bigger as well. So say for example I want to do that one and I want to go from the center to the bottom left hand corner. So that's the start which is the dotted line and this is the end. So once we're done with those changes I can then go back to the video and show you how it looks. So I can go and press play. Now as you can see guys this um, particular image is going for around a minute and a half. So this means the, th that the Ken's burn, burn effect will go very slowly as you can see right there. So I can actually bring this um, back a bit and the shorter the clip of the image the kind of faster the um, transition will be. So now that's around 10 seconds, so I'll go and press play and you'll be able to see the transition move around and I can even bring that in a bit smaller um, to around 4 seconds and you can see it moving a little bit quicker um, right there. So there you have it, that's the best way that I've found on how to move text around on iMovie without using any of the default titles on the software. So I really hope this video has been helpful for you and I do realize that this method is a little bit kind of um, longer than usual. There are a few extra steps you do have to do but unfortunately from, our, from what I've found there's no way on how to do this on iMovie and if you have found a particular method that's quicker than this one or one that doesn't involve having to do all of these extra steps then please, please share it down below in the video description as you'll be helping thousands of other people out there as well. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.